Hi YouTube. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Carandash Swisswood 348. Let's get to it. Well, I've been looking forward to checking out this pencil, the Swiss wood from Carandash. As you can see, it's Swiss made. It's the model 348, and it has the rating of HB. It is a beautiful pencil, a very dark wood pencil. I cannot say whether this is the natural dark wood coloring or if it's been perhaps stained, but it is very nice looking. It is said to be from the Swiss Jura Forest that's in Switzerland and that it is made of a dark beech wood that is spelled B-E-E-C-H. It has really nice white lettering, as you can see here. Of course, it will also have this barcode, which you know I am not a big fan of barcoding on pencils or pens where you can't remove it. It really has a super cool red cap with the Swiss cross right there in the middle. That's really, really neat. And here's the point. It comes pre-sharpened. has a little bit of that fuzz from the little cotton -y, uh, insert that this thing came in. As you see, it's pre-sharpened. I have yet to actually try it. I thought that I would try this pencil out in front of you, my viewers, for the very first time. I was able to acquire this pencil and it cost me with shipping here in the United States nearly eight dollars and that's a lot of money for one pencil. The pencil itself was five dollars and forty five cents. Very very expensive pencil. So it's not a pencil that you're just going to be sharpening down and using it you know a whole lot um, unless your pockets are so deep that you'll find the Titanic down in there somewhere. Okay. It feels really nice in my hand very balanced even though it doesn't have a ferrule or a racer on the other end which usually helps rest the pencil more on the back of the hand this does not seem to have a problem with doing that uh, for as, as a pencil weighs, this does give me the sense that it's a little bit on the heavy side as compared to, say, any other regular pencil, such as this um, Tombow here. It feels a little more weightier. You can actually tell a difference. So anyway... I think now is a good time to check out how it writes and give you my impressions of this dark beached wood Swiss wood pencil. I almost hate to even use it considering what I paid for this thing. Um, but definitely, definitely looking forward to trying it out. Okay, so this is the Swiss wood Carandash 348 okay now perhaps you can tell that it's not a very dark pencil but it writes really nice it 
it has a very smooth application to it. You can feel the quality of the right. And let's see, it comes it's dark beech wood. I want to go ahead and write that in. And it comes from the Swiss Jura Forest. The pencil itself is six and seven eighths of an inch long. And that is before you start writing with it. Really? <laughs> and it's got a hex barrel. As you can see. give you as close a view as possible here. But look at that wood. Isn't that pretty cool? Ooh. I mean, that is pretty. I want you to be able to see everything. I, I even see there's little numbers that seems to be uh, stamped in there very, very lightly. But I could see it right there. I'm sure you can too. Give you a nice close-up of that cap. Hopefully we don't lose focus here. But look at the wood grain. Isn't that, that's some serious wood grain there. That is really nice. And give you a close-up of that tip. Now, one of the things about this pencil that you're going to note soon enough is that you can do a lot of writing before you have to sharpen this pencil. So it has very good has very good point retention. Now I have not yet sharpened this pencil because it came pre-sharpened and I don't have a need to sharpen it because it still has a point on it. And so it's going to write just fine. As it is. And I'm writing terribly today. And now I'm going to just grab me another HB pencil here. Just a standard HB. Here's a Oreo. And that Oreo that I just used wrote very nice, very smooth. And what you're going to see here is that the Oreo's HB is a darker, slightly darker than the Swiss wood. So the claim to fame in this thing is although it is rated as an HB, it does seem to be on the lighter side and could possibly be an H pencil if if you know I was to uh, if I was to actually grade this myself for the HB does appear to to be a little darker yes clearly the Swiss wood is on the right you can see it is lighter marginally lighter so you're definitely going to get a little more right out of it. But it's a very nice pen. Now, I'm going to give you the straight skinny. And, you know, when you watch my reviews on pencils, and you know that I love pencils. And if you wonder, okay, Ricks, are you, would you buy this pencil again after you've used it all up which is going to take me a long time to use it up because it you know it it, it has very good retention um the honest answer is no i'm personally not going to buy a five six seven dollar pencil again because while it writes very nicely
And while it looks really nice, the bottom line is, is that um, for less money, I can get pencils that write nicely and, you know, are one-third the price, one-quarter the price, such as the Blackwing 602, which is only $2 compared to the 8 that it cost me to get that one. That includes the shipping, of course. So anyway... I think it's a very nice pencil. Yeah, I'm going to sharpen it. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it. Let's see how it sharpens. It doesn't want to sharpen. Okay, well, it doesn't want to sharpen, so I'm interesting. Um, the barrel of this pencil seems to be on the large side. Let me um, Let me try the big triple here. I guess I can sharpen it with the big triple. Now the wood feels very, very hard. So it's a hard wood, very hard. I don't know if it's a hard wood, but it's a very hard wood. And uh, I'm amazed that I was unable to sharpen it in this long point sharpener. And let's see. Yeah, there, there may be... Um, A slight difference in the diameter of this hex pencil. Okay, well, that's interesting. It, there does appear to be a slight difference in the diameter of the Swiss wood as well. So there's another little discovery for you uh, who are watching. And so, you know, you may not be able to fit them in all your pencil sharpeners. But it's a, it's definitely a very nice writing pencil. For taking notes. And um, not wanting to have to stop often to sharpen. Okay, so it's, it's holding the point holding the point so yeah it's a long writing pencil and it does have it does have decent um, uh, tonal quality it's 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 definitely not one of the darker pencils um, I would I would say that it was slightly under the HB shade and um, let me see how it smells hmm has an interesting smell Wow, okay. Hard to describe. But if you can smell dark, it smells dark. Wow. I like the smell of it. It doesn't, um, doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like wood. It, it almost smells like some kind of a, rich flavor or something could almost be I don't know coffee meets chocolate it's kind of yeah at least that's the the sense that I get it's almost kind of kind of like coffee-ish but um, you know that just might be my sense of smell is off since I just finished going through having a severe cold this past weekend anyway well, that's it for the 
Carandosh Swiss Wood 348 HB, made in Switzerland. If you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you'll be instantly informed of my next video. Leave comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.